welcome back here in this new video tutorial here we are going to learn how to use the combination of if and and function in microsoft excel to explain these two function combination here i have created example which is a order value estimation format where there is name of the customer field item name column quantity column price column and the amount column here the gross total of the invoice is calculated and this discount value is conditional here to get the 3% discount the customer should fulfill two condition the first condition is the order item count must be at least 5 and the second condition is gross total must be at least 5000 so if both of these conditions are satisfied then the customer will get 3% discount so in this case to make this calculation dynamic we will use the combination of if and and function together first of all let's look into the and function separately here press equal to then type the and function here you see and function checks whether all argument are true so open the bracket here then here we need to give the logics the first logic is the order item count must be at least 5 so here use the count a function to count the order item then open the bracket then select this quantity range then close the bracket now press greater than equal to symbol then type 5 this is the first logic the count of the item should be greater than or equal to 5 then give a comma in the logical 2 we have to define the second logic that is the gross total must be at least 5000 so click on the gross total cell this should be greater than or equal to 5000 this is the second condition now close the bracket press enter and here you see the result is given as false because in this case the second condition is satisfied which is the gross value should be greater than or equal to 5000 this is satisfied but the first logic is not satisfied the item count must be at least 5 but it is only 4 here that's why the result is given as false here if I add a new item then the result will be true here because in this case both of the condition are satisfied now based on the true or false result given by the AND function we will count the discount value here by combining the AND function with IF function. So here in this discount cell press equal to then type the IF function then open the bracket. In the IF function we have to give the logical test value if true and value if false. In this logical test we have to combine the AND function that we used here. So here type AND function open bracket. In the logical one combine the count a function open bracket then select this quantity range then close bracket the count of the quantity range should be greater than or equal to 5 then give a comma in the logical 2 the gross total should be greater than or equal to 5000 so click on gross total this should be greater than equal to type 5000 then close the bracket now this gives the logical test for the if function then give a comma in the value if true we have to multiply this gross total with three percentage so here click on the gross total multiplied with three percentage then give a comma in the value if false we have to put zero because in case if these conditions are not satisfied the discount is not applicable here that's why in the false we have to keep zero then close the bracket press enter and here you see the discount is calculated because in this case both of the condition are satisfied if I make change here in this quantity and make it less than 5000 in this case the discount is not calculated because the item count condition is satisfied but the gross total condition is not satisfied so here the discount is not given so this is the way of combining if and and function in microsoft excel 
this much for today's video thank you very much for watching we will again meet on next video tutorial